Okay, so those temperatures and those melted flip flops we showed you earlier in the show, pretty telling tale about what can happen when you spend that kind of time in this kind of heat. And sure, we could do another story on how to stay safe on days like these, but we thought we might have some fun this time around. As we said earlier, those flip flops got us thinking about what other what, what 100 degrees would do to other things that we left out in the sun. We've already seen what about 15 minutes of triple digit temperatures can do to an ice cream cone so far. What about more stuff with more time? We had 100 degrees during the one o'clock hour today. So at 145, we thought we'd put some stuff in the direct sunlight on a stone platter for 30 minutes. Things made of wax, things made of chocolate, things made of ice to see which would melt first. So let's head out to the parking lot for the inaugural running of the sizzling steaks at Fairview Field. First one in the field, the crayons call them color me bad, but they are good to be one of the favorites. This candle burning both ends. Soap on a rope as a long shot. So are Chapa War and One Night in Vegas. A lot of people picking, I can't believe it's not butter odds. Butter close competitor, Sea Biscuit. It's it's cookie dough. Then there's the hard shell candies. Race the rainbow and slim, not so shady. They don't crack under pressure. However, the gummies, Seattle Slurry, will go out on short odds. Here she goes, now into position. And stars and stripes, the last to enter the starting gate. And they're off. I can't believe it's not butter odds, leaps to the lead. Don't look now, but here comes her she goes. However, she looks like she's not going to keep up with that pace. From the middle of the pack, Seattle Slurry making its move. I can't believe it's not butter odds trying to maintain the lead and color me bad, coming on strong on the backstretch. On the far turn, Seattle Slurry turning into some sort of colorful slurry. But I can't believe it's not butter odds, not ready to give up the ghost or the lead. And down the hot stretch they come. I can't believe it's not butter odds. Seattle Slurry, color me bad on the outside, and it's Seattle Slurry going fluid first. Followed by I can't believe it's not butter odds, and color me bad oozing into third. Stars and stripes, Whew, just out of the money on this one. Her she goes, couldn't keep up and kept its shape. Sea Biscuit made an effort, but one night in Vegas and Chapel War, not even close to contenders, despite the 125 degree stone surface. Race the rainbow, slim not so shady, not such a good showing. And burning both ends, soap on a rope, like they were left at the starting gate. And that's the call from Fairview Field. Until next time. I was really hoping the chocolate bar would run a better race in that one. All right, let's take a look at the ice cream cone. By the way, 15 minutes is all it took for the gummies to go to goo. This is the ice cream cone we put out at the beginning of the show. We're 21 minutes in, or a little bit, 23 minutes into the show right now. And it's losing a lot of its texture and form. We're going to check back in in just a bit as well. Can we lose the whole thing in the next nine minutes? We'll find out.